Welcome back to another unboxing. My name is Hafid, and this is the Fluid Flip Apic Splash Tank project example from the Insidium Contour Repository. And here we have the unofficial packaging for this project file example. And this is just to give you a visual representation of these digital unboxings. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and select the box, go into polygons mode, and just click on this top face of our box. Double press K, so we have the line cut, and just click and drag to create a line at the Top. that's fine press escape i have to go into points mode select all the points right click and disconnect and go back to polygons mode and just select the top flaps and i will just move them around so we can see what's inside the box and the first thing that you see when you decompress the file is just a note by insidium just telling you the name and on this example they're telling you that they disable the xp ovd measure just so you have a faster playback and you don't have to deal with all the geometry they just tell you the compatibility for cinema 4d x particles and cycles 4d and that is pretty much it and i'll move it out of the way the next thing that we have it seems to be the render shot just to give you an example of what this looks like as you can see we have this volume of ocean and we just have a white block that it seems to have just collided with this ocean it's just moving all the water around it's creating foam and just giving you an example of what sort of collisions will be possible i assume with this um xp ocean and the collision effects that it's going to have so let me go ahead and disable that i'll disable the note and that is pretty much everything that we have in this box as you can see our project file is in there so i'll go ahead and make the box invisible and here is our simulation we have two lights we have the uh, block that's going to create the collisions on the body and here we have the, the actual like container of the water of the ocean I'll go ahead and pause it right there. I think that's a cool shot. And as you can see, we have a ton of particles. We have the collision of that cube just reacting as if you were to drop a gigantic cube in the middle of the ocean. Obviously, we have a container. So we have those particles reacting to the container, just like spraying all the way to the top and just dividing that ocean in half, basically creating those waves. And I don't know if you can see those uh, small white particles. I assume that's going to be the foam, but that was only one second that's about 35 frames and the playback is kind of slow so let me just go all the way to 90 to see what that animation is going to look like and that is about three seconds 90 frames so i'm probably gonna have to run this simulation a little bit longer just so we we'll let that water settle down and as you can see the the waves are starting to cover our cube and just letting it submerge and we also have some leftover particles over here in the tank so maybe i'll just create like a glass box to just give it that effect that the water is just like still running through the walls and just let that foam just like slide on on the walls but yeah as you can see a lot of particles are needed just to give it more detail to this simulation so far it's looking pretty cool pretty great like i said for the final animation i am gonna probably run this a little bit longer than three seconds probably like five or even ten so if you want to see the final animation just follow me on instagram and i'll render this over the next couple days and i'll just post it in there and just go ahead and check out all the other simulations that we have done so far and the last thing i'm gonna say is that you might want to to cache the simulation just so that playback is a little bit better on your computer but once you have that cache ready we're gonna be able to just go back and forth on the playback is because that's already gonna be in the memory and just to give you an example right now we are on the last frame and i'm gonna go ahead and go backwards to let's say frame 45 and as you can see the simulation doesn't know what is going on all the particles are just like exploding just because they have no memory we haven't told them what to do before you know that playback is going on so definitely cast your simulation because even if now i go forwards let's say i go back to 90 now most of those particles have disappeared again they don't know what's going on so when you're ready go ahead and cast that simulation okay now that we have an idea of what that looks like animated let's go ahead and start breaking down each element and see what options we have to just like play around so the first thing we have is a camera i'll go ahead and deactivate it get out of that view i'm gonna go ahead and hide it for our lighting and environment it seems 
is that we have a floor object and just two cycles for the soft box lights i go ahead and hide those as well i go into the xp system and just deactivate the icon on the viewport just so we have a cleaner project and we can see what's going on i'll open up that xp system and there you have it we have some dynamics going on we have two emitters a generator a couple of utilities and some modifiers and there's actually a lot more elements than i thought it would have but that's okay we'll just go through each of them and it shouldn't be that complicated and what i like to do is just deactivate all the modifiers the utilities i'll hide those deactivate the generators and the dynamics so we just start simple we start with the emitters and the first one we have is just uh, the emitter for the water tank if you go to the object tag you see this emitter is in the shape of a box the emission is set to shot is set to hexagonal and the shot time is set to one frame and as you can see it's using the volume of the box to just emit particles to fill the volume in this hexagonal shape hexagonal part pattern and this just helps those particles fit a bit more tightly and fit a lot more particles into the volume if i go to the display and change that to spheres you can see what i'm talking about those particles are just being packed into that volume and just being emitted in this hexagonal pattern that we talk about it's kind of like alternating them just to make sure that they fit better into this volume and yeah that's what that is so i'll go to the editor display and just change that to dots just so the viewport runs a bit more smoothly so it doesn't have to spawn all of those spheres we have no questions no modifiers nothing on the editing or the advanced and yeah that's the first thing that we have i believe that this is the base of the whole simulation just this body of water and our second emitter actually has a different icon because i think that is created by the xp foam if we go to object it's set to rectangle and you can see it right here let me deactivate the other one and here's where you can tell also that it's not a normal emitter the emission is set to controlled only and i think that what's controlling this is just that xp foam we have a speed of 150 a radius of 0.2 and i think that is pretty much it on the modifiers we actually have this xp fluid flip and it's actually being excluded as you can see by the symbol if i click it that means included this means excluded so the xp fluid flip is not going to be affecting this second emitter and the last thing we have is just the cycles for the instance tag just to spawn really small spheres into those emitters and just make them look like foam so that's it for the emitters i'm gonna go ahead and press play and you can see that our cube is still in there so i'm gonna go to utilities it might be this collider object over here just go ahead and disactivate it go back there we go and that is our body those are our emitters nothing's going on it's just still water nothing colliding on it so once we activate again that cube go back press play as you saw the cube comes down it just makes everything just splash and we get that cool effect right now as you can see not much is going on water is just going like straight up not even in a fluid motion it's just going straight up like lines because we have no dynamics we have not tell those particles to act in a specific way they are being collided with but they're just being pushed forward instantly with nothing else going on so let's go ahead and try to add some modifiers fires i'll start with the gravity i think this is pretty much the standard gravity so i'll go back i'll hide the icon for now and just press play and you can see at the beginning that the water volume actually fell down collided with the floor we have pretty much the same effect with the cube colliding and the particles going straight up but now that we have the gravity it's obviously coming down and as you can see it's acting a little bit more fluid it comes down we got the body coming down colliding splash going up you can see over here how they're acting just a little bit more as a fluid body the particles are just spreading apart and we are slowly getting our simulation back and the other modifier that we have is actually a xp kill so let's activate it so now that we have it enabled you can see the mode is set to independent the volume is set to objects and it's using the tank to base that xp kill and it's going to eliminate those particles that just go outside of our tank i do not know what these icons mean i can click on them i can deactivate them and even if i hover over them it doesn't tell me what they do but that's 
fine if i go to the tank and just activate it on the viewport you can kind of see it right here but that is because we have a display tag where we're only displaying the lines and the basically the wireframe of that tank if i deactivate it you can see back that cube but we're not really interested in that at least for now and if i play it again you can see that we're somewhat getting our simulation back and i actually forgot to talk about the cubes xp collider tag it's got enable collisions we got bounce on collisions but the bounce is actually set to zero percent and we got a friction of 33 they're not being connected on collision and it seems that we are excluding the xp emitter from the xp foam and for the collider tag of the tank pretty much the same thing enable collisions enables enable bounce on collisions and this one is actually set to the inside of the tank and the inside of the cube obviously we do have a bounce of 40 percent and a friction of one nothing on the forces nothing on the reaction and nothing on the spawn actually let me check that for the other tag no forces reactions or spawn okay so we have look at the emitter we have look at the modifiers and i believe that it's time to start activating the dynamics i'll go back on the timeline and the first thing i'm going to check is just the xp fluid flip and here are the parameters that it comes with it's just a volume voxel size of five the size i think that's just enough to make the simulation in relation to obviously to the size of this collider cube and for the type i think i heard this that the a peak is actually more accurate than the flip so that's what it's set to i don't know what the weak spring is we have no vorticity no viscosity no surface tension and i don't know what the liquid level is the next thing we have is just sticky objects activated with a distance of six centimeters no bounce friction up to 83 percent and a variation of 20 there's nothing on the emitters tab so i don't know how we're actually using those emitters that we created nothing on the groups affected colliders display display mode is set to back you can obviously use voxels just the base of it and the adaptive bounce is selected but let's go ahead and see what that is actually doing to our simulation I'll pause it right there just so you can see that now it's actually just pushing those particles against each other creating a wave of some sorts you can see kind of like the curve of the wave right there that's really cool right there is just making contact with the water with this ocean you can see that it's just pushing everything to the sides everything just colliding with the wall And now we have our simulation back as you can see we have that detail of those waves and just everything colliding with each other just by activating that xp fluid flip dynamics object and this is actually really cool and it seems that the last thing we're going to activate is just this xp foam so i'll go ahead and do that as you can see for the emission is using the xp emitter which you can create right here if you don't have one yet we have all the parameters that you can play around with for the foam creation for the foam emission set all those parameters to your liking and you might want to test all those out in a simulation with less particles just to kind of see how the foam starts to be created just based on all of them that way you don't have to catch the simulation every time you change like a small parameter so let's go back now that everything is activated once again obviously our playback is going to suck right now it's about one frame per second but we're going it's just 90 seconds so i'll just let it run and stop it to a good point point. and before i forget the note that we had over here remember that it says the xp obd measure is disabled for faster playback so if that playback wasn't slow enough now we're gonna see some actual slow playback i think that's a good point to just like start seeing that mesh because right now we don't have any actual geometry it's just a bunch of dots in space they are colliding with each other they have those modifiers and those dynamics making them act more fluid but there's no actual geometry so here's what comes the ovd measure so let's go ahead and activate that and for some reason it's just looking like a black liquid it has this black material on our editor and since pretty much everything else is already activated we're gonna go ahead and start with the rendering face scroll down on my toolbar 
bar and activate the cycles for the real-time preview socket here on the side and just enable our lighting and environment and there you have it we have our volume we'd have our object that is colliding everything else you can already see that foam appearing where the cube first collided so the water that's like at the very top i'll go ahead and try a different frame but before i do that i'll disactivate uh the xp ovd measure because otherwise it's going to be really slow and here it is from a different angle a little bit more of a close-up some things that i'm liking is uh this spots over here where just like all the water and all the foam is just being accumulated depending on what you're going for you might not like this individual particles being shown obviously in real time once the simulation is finished once the animation is rendered your eyes might just perceive them as just small drops of water and it might actually look really cool there's also like some like blobs of water just like floating around over here over here and it does look kind of weird how there's like this lines of particles where the object collided on but like we saw on the xp foam and the xp fluid you have a lot of parameters to just play around with you can go ahead and save your presets for anything that you like any specific look that you like just go ahead and save the preset and you can load it anytime you might also want to experiment with different objects other than like a straight up cube maybe like a ball like a statue or something and just see how that reacts with the volume of water you know just give it your own material to the cube to the water and since this project is designed to be rendered with cycles for the they actually include the glass material that you can use as well as a couple of lights that they include in the project but you can definitely just render this in something like arnold or redshift or octane any third party just go ahead and drop your material from that render on the ovd measure and you're gonna have to create your own lights which i think is just the easiest part just using x particles and just activating this xp fluid flip like things just happen they just started working so i truly recommend it and then just take advantage of these project examples analyze them play around with the parameters to whatever you like but if you want to see what i come up with go ahead and follow me on instagram that will be hafid dot particles that's the instagram account where i'll be posting all of the animations that i create based on these unboxings so go ahead and follow me over there if you want to see the final animation for this fluid flip apex splash tank project example again don't forget to cast your project once you have something that you somewhat like go ahead and cast that so your playback is just going to be real smooth and the particles know what they're doing you can dm me on instagram if you have any questions but you can also just drop them here here in the comments but i hope that this unboxing entertained you and encouraged you to get into x particles get into those project examples that they're just giving away some of them you do have to pay for but it just comes with the license so just go ahead and try them out and just add that knowledge of fluid effects with the xp fluid flip to your skill set library my name is hafid and i'll see you on the next video